Okay? And essentially, this is going to give you a graph of your energy use over time. You can display it in 5, 15, or 30 mile increments, and then get a projected range either average across that entire period or instantaneously at the last point in time. Not something to pay attention to right off the bat, just because that number is going to be all over the place until it gets a handle on your driving, like 999 miles of range. <laughs> but uh, it's only going downhill. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But once it does actually get a handle on your driving, you'll see that adjust and get pretty accurate. Of course, the main number you're going to want to pay attention to is the one there in the center of your speedometer. But this just allows you to get a better handle on, okay, if I was to drive like I did over the last five miles, here's what I could expect in range, that kind of thing. All right, let's go to web. There we are. We'll do a full screen of this just by hitting the square on the bottom. And there's your web browser. So functions just like a lot of other browsers out there. You can go ahead and type in a full address, or if you type in a term, just like Tesla Motors, it defaults to Google and we'll search for that for yeah, you. we got to put in our company name here just to see what it looks like. Right <laughs> OK, sure. All right, and enter. There we go. There it is. Yeah, we could. Good <laughs> embedded <laughs> advertising. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we go ahead and add this to our favorites. To do that, we'll hit the heart with the plus sign, just like you do in media. And then add to favorites. We'll go to the heart symbol there to the far right. And there's our favorites menu. Great. Okay. A couple limitations to the browser that I will go ahead and point out. One is it doesn't do video. So if you try to go to YouTube, anything like that, it's not going to display video. Uh, at this point in time, which is probably a good thing, so uh, <laughs> we'll leave it at that for now. But at the same time, you can actually use it while you're driving along. So if somebody's sitting here in the passenger seat, they can still do what they want to do, and it will adjust. <laughs> Great. Just like you do in nav, of course, you know, pinching and squeezing on the screen can adjust the, the zoom there for you. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go to camera. And there it is. So you can actually bring up a live feed even while you're driving along. Kind of a neat perspective, see who's sneaking up on you, but uh, <laughs> this gives you a little bit better view out the back. If it says ambulance, then you know you should pull over. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Let's go to uh, phone next. It should be all synced up. And there we are. So now one thing I will point out, there's a little bug in the phone system. Uh, the number is correct, the date's correct, but the time is actually three hours ahead of when the call came through. So that uh, phone call was probably at uh, 4 38, actually. So it's kind of like a DeLorean also. With the time. <laughs> there you go. Right. You, you can get to a certain speed there. at the time you get right. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So for now, just don't pay attention to that time, although a uh, future update will probably adjust that little bug. But for now, of course, all missed incoming and outgoing with those tabs. You jump to contacts there, just below recent calls. There's your full contacts menu. So, right. of course, you can scroll through all those or just jump to a particular letter in the book. And then dialer, just below that. And there it is. We'll keep that for you. Great. Okay.